Oh, he's oh I know why. He's why? already getting oh, out. How long have All we right. been gone? And I also <gasps> need. Where are we ending? Where are we? Sam. What? Oh, okay. Scanlan. No, I know. Percy. And uh, Grog to oh, roll wisdom saving throw. Yeah. <laughs> what did we do? Hey, I'm what did so I do? Oh, no, I feel um, if, if it's not magic, then I have an 11. Okay. Oh, Guys, no. drama needs conflict. Eight. No! Six. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so <laughs> excited! What? All right, all right. I'm so excited. So, Please don't get left behind. No. As, as the portal <laughs> shifts close behind you, you all step out into the center of the white stone. Uh, city Square. You can see behind you the uh, sun tree where you guys left originally. Um, the It is midday, clouds are high in the sky, little breaks where you can see beams of sunlight coming through. Uh, it looks like there's a darker uh, <coughs> rainstorm coming probably in the next half day or so. Keyleth, uh, Scanlan, uh, Vex, and Vax um, returning, you kind of your mind feels a little fuzzy, but overall, nothing seems to have affected you. You know, you've, you're glad to be back. Percy and Grog, you are very confused how you got here and not quite sure why nothing has happened since you gathered here as friends. Yes? We have, are, you, are we, so do we just have a straight piece of missing time? Are we still waiting to go to the Feywild? Uh, as far as you guys okay, know just right now, it. you guys um, you never, still there. never even went. That's horrible for Percy. All right, um, you just wanted to go your whole fucking life. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> what? Boy. How long does this spell take? Oh boy. Yeah, do we have to wait long? I know. I, I have like the P. You know, we like I can go seek P. Like I, I did. I P feel first. fine now. Like ready know. to go to the we did to the actual. Castle? What? We did done done it. We done done what? Feywild. Just brought us back. We're back. We're back. We're back from. We just got back. You're a terrible liar. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's true, but it's irrelevant. We just. The fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh no. Does the name Garmili ring a bell? No, what, um. Does remember we went? Mm, oh. Does that mean I lose my title? No, should it? Maybe you can work it out. Oh no. You titled Vexalia? I did what? Oh no! <laughs> you gave Vexalia a title in your Whitestone Kingdom. She was the Duchess of um, some hut. Can someone who can't successfully Baroness, lie to me please explain to me what's Vexalia, going on? Lady Vexalia, Baroness of the Third House of Whitestone, Grand Mistress of the Grey Hunt. How do you know about the Grey Hunt? I don't know anything about the Grey Hunt, but it's written down on a piece of paper you gave me first. Is it written on a piece of paper? It is written on a piece of paper. That I actually threw out because I, I fixed up my notes, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick word. Oh. You did not did he, throw out the paper. Why did he write it down? <laughs> Per you you wrote it down, right? I, I Why did you throw that away? Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> for the for the sake of actual sanity, does she actually have the piece of paper that he wrote? Did he write something it? down? I did. I wrote it did down. He wrote, for her and, and I just it's in my. It's, you would have it with you. You would, you would definitely have it with I you. I would still. And yeah, she does. Okay. It's in her brain. It's just it's not brain. in this particular, not in that world binder. It's not in this realm. This, this, realm, this yeah. world. The binder that Vex carries is much, much you know, better. Like, yeah. it's, it's got, it's got <laughs> fur and, and some, like, it's a trapper keeper. Yeah. There yeah. are more worlds than these. It's got a happy kitten on it. Yeah, it says, say, say by the bells. Hang in there. Hang in there. Yeah. It says, life. <laughs> life needs things, life to, live. things to live. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Modify Memory on Percy. You're gonna All right. kill her. Uh, I can help you remember, Percy. Just look into my eyes. I, I don't want look to. Look into I... my eyes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, that's getting gift. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but wait, are you just gonna make up what he remembers? So, what was the, what was it called? 10 minutes. What was the, your title called? There's nothing on this piece of paper. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to uh, make him remember mm. that we landed in the Feywild together as a group. It was a beautiful <laughs> field filled with naked nymphs and fey creatures that all came to him and gave him a wonderful full body massage. Very uncomfortable, all right. Oh, no, but that, that was tension. Okay, <laughs> yes. Oh. Vex saw him. And he did not want anyone to know about this moment that he had. <laughs> so 
<laughs> in a fit of panic, he gave her something, anything, a title, <laughs> a title to make her, to keep her confidence. The title was Lady Vexalia, the Baroness of the Third House of Whitestone and Grand Mistress of the Grey Hut. <laughs> She agreed to keep his secret, <laughs> and he had a wonderful time before his memory fades. Oh. Oh my. Wait, that was how we were, but there was, you shouldn't know. Mm, yeah, yes, I did this right, I did do this. Yes, never. I do, and I, and we will never discuss why again. But yes, I did do this, and I'm so glad I wrote it down correctly, because that was very embarrassing, <laughs> but. I, I'll have this. I'll have this approved. Um, as approved. Long as, yes. Well, well. I'm going to make sure. I have to, of course, inform. Yes, that. Yes. Who's yes? <laughs> I don't know. Your new <laughs> nickname is Jabba. Jabba. Yes. I like it. Um. <laughs> it seems the awkward curse of the Feywild has set into a couple of your allies. I uh. Quite a bit of ways from us. So Pike we have a dog. Up. The gauntlets begin to glow, and as you reach them, touches each side of your temples, your eyes close. And then suddenly you watch as Grog's eyes flash open, and where his pupils and whites of his eyes were, you now see a flash of divine golden orange light. As it fades, <laughs> you are slammed with a series of memories that were previously <laughs> taken from you, and you recall every moment in the Feywild. <laughs> So, so she, she reaches up and you bend down. She takes her glasses off, kind of um, has some defects. Reaches up and touches the sides of your temple. Now concentrate. Close your eyes. And there's a burst of warmth towards the front of your lobe, almost like someone's dipping your head into hot water. And with that, there's a smattering of memories that are just rushing into your mind. It takes you a moment. It, it, it's your head swims, and you have to mm. almost sit down. You almost stumble off your back foot, as your brain now has to reorganize those lost moments. Seven days now, immediately restored. Seven days, ten minutes. Yeah. Greater restoration kills modified memory. Oh. Aww. But do I remember having the fake memory, or do I not remember having the fake memory? You you would remember the spell being cast. You remember the fake memory, but you're aware that it's fake. Okay. And that it. And that, it, and that I did it. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just say thank you, Percival. Did it work? I give her a big hug. Mm. Yo. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm sorry. I'm going to sit down. Out style little pods. All right, you start right grading all little these various things, and people start ushering in, and it's getting to the point now where so many people you hear crying children, families pressed in, you're feeling claustrophobic, and the room's getting hotter and hotter the more bodies that are in there. You just keep concentrating and pushing the earth out. You can feel the sweat beads pouring down your face, just concentrating, concentrating. You hear the crying and sobbing, and people trying to to comfort those that are freaking out, and every now and then you hear a distant echoing cry, a scream of a dragon in the distance, and everyone in the room tenses, and the sobbing gets even louder then hushed against with a whispering silence. You keep pushing and keep pushing, opening. You guys all begin to gather the rest. As you watch, with that final cry, the dragon and the wyverns pick up <laughs> and swoop towards the center of the valley. Oh, fuck. Arcing to the west and do a wide sweep of the mountain range. Where's Gilmore? Gilmore has been just bringing people in mass down to the castle, and you haven't seen him for a number of probably a good 15, 20 minutes or so. The dragons coast around and begin to disappear in the southeastern <gasps> distance where they came from. You do at this point catch Gilmore, who has actually moved to the top of the castle and is currently arms out, concentrating, pouring all the energy he can into that barrier. Look like the spell works. <sighs> Good work. Good work. <sighs> Gimbal. Good job. He eventually comes down from the top of the castle, and he's just 
eye sockets are sunken. You can see I he's just pouring this way. in ten minutes before they can leave. I'm um. I'm gonna need a spa day. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happened. It didn't help. Done. <laughs> He'd probably he went rogue. Gone, or, or he was, he was pissed. He was pissed at the other dragons, maybe. Mm. But it's not You've got safe a good idea. To, it's not safe to <laughs> assume that they're assume. Sorry, that they're not in communication. <laughs> no, we have to assume that they are. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, it's, it's not like my childhood friend I, Pervan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is a thought. What do we? <laughs> This is a very good idea. You've got a very good idea. I love you. What, yeah. What's the idea? And we're assuming, sorry, that <laughs> they'll just ask instead of jumping to conclusions and... I like it. You know. Even if you jump to conclusions, you But we know that Thordak yeah. is a total asshole. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we know, oh. we know he'll be pissed off more or less. Yeah. His yeah. scarred eye twitches for a moment. <laughs> I mean, I'm down to party. I'm just saying it, it was a little different in my head. I've never known you to be a coward, Grog. Oh. No! No! no. no Why would you do that? Why? He's gambling! I'll go first. Really? <laughs> you hold my hand and we'll, I'll go first. He can play the fiddle. Yeah, he very can. Well. I'll go. Let's do it. Can I'm we, ready. can, okay, before I, we go through, I'm going to cast Pass Without abstain. a Trace on us. <laughs> All right. So we can stealth through the tree like that. That's going to work. No, that's a good idea. I'm going to look for something very solid. Are there trees around us that we can go through right now? Uh, a short walk. You can get down the base of the forest. Yeah. All right. I'm going to tie the rope off onto something, onto a very sturdy thing next to a tree that we're going to go through. OK. We're going to repel. Yes. Yes. Does the portal only close like after a couple of seconds? We have six, we seconds. Like six, six seconds. seconds. Six seconds. We've all got a hold of the rope, and we all go. We all just go. <laughs> six seconds for all of you to to, <laughs> to run. Shut up. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Bungee jumping out of a tree. We are fucking idiots. This is the stupidest thing. I love it. Thing. I love I love it. So this is so This is a terrible plan. Why are we doing this? I want to go on record for saying things. I was against We're gonna this. Die. We can just leave. We can just leave. So you you've a, you've affixed the rope to the base of of the strongest I tree have. you can find. Are we all gonna like tie ourselves to each other? I like cast fast. No, this is that's just dumb. No, we're, we're gonna break gonna our backs. <laughs> I'm gonna cast fast load of trace on everyone right now because why the fuck not? You got a fucking Vex. broom. I'm, Vex. I'm hopping on the broom. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm on the broom, and he's on the broom. Vex, we're going to have the greatest. I told you so. If we survive oh. this, all right. So. We have uh, Vex and Scanlan on the broom. Should you make me something teensy? Oh, this is Sorry, such a stupid idea. idea. No, not like... yet. We're going to need every spell we need in there. No, <laughs> oh, right. you're the weight that's going to hold the rope oh. down. You're going first. Any other uh, spell prep? I'm going to pop my wings out and hook my arms under Kiki's uh, armpits. OK. I'm holding onto the rope because I'm an idiot. The trunk. Everyone ready? Open as the doorway yeah. immediately. Go! Open. Go! Fly through stealthily. You fly through stealthily. <laughs> um, and try to get down to the ground quickly and like hide behind something. Right. I would like all of you guys to make stealth checks at disadvantage. <laughs> okay, so you yeah. disappear under the snowbank. It is freezing cold, the wet, uh, immediately uh, thawing snow against you, forming against the seep, but you are below eye level. Um, Vax and Keyleth, um, you guys just kind of dart through you holding her. Mm -hmm. Fly through, and then once I see them hit the ground, I'm going to dive bomb us, and then I'm going to wrap us in a little uh, wing bubble, and then just roll into the snow. All right, as you guys come falling out the side of the tree, you see <laughs> nearby a as a tall green tiny dragon gets startled oh, and no floats, lucky. flies off. Oh, he flew away. You guys go coasting, the wings expand for a second, it picks up, and as you hit, moving just past the about 15 feet of jagged rocks that were kind of gathered at the base of the ravine, you scoot over it, the wings fold in around you, and you guys tumble into the snow. The two of you. Thanks. Jump through and start rappelling down. Grog at the bottom end. Bringing the rope, bringing the rope down, bringing the rope down. It slams shut, the rope. <laughs> Cut at the other end. Wow. As the portal closes. Hey, man. <laughs> Percy, you just make it out as the rope gives away, and it's now Grog and Percy plummeting towards the ground. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm gonna let that happen. Well, you both fall. 
Um, you're cushioning his fall? Yep. All right. Uh, I need you to make an acrobatics check, just for the hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. 13. 13. Uh, as soon as you look over your shoulder and see the ground coming, you try and swing your legs underneath to catch you to kind of slide across, and you begin to. Your feet catch the rock, and you feel the muscles tense. Your back gets kind of jammed a little bit, oh. and you catch Percy in your arms, but the momentum of Percy hitting you sends you back over end, and you both <laughs> tumble ah. into the snow. Um, you do prevent Percy from taking any damage, but you do suffer uh, five points of fall damage oh, and land in the snow. Oh. I got a, a, a booby. A booby. <laughs> Is Lockheed within? All of your forms shift into that of various metallic uh, dragonborn uh, with tails, dorn in rags, dirty. What do you do? Oh, shit. Who all speaks draconic here? You! You're you speak draconic! One. Nobody else talk. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all mutes. And you were lepers and mutes, and you are our just, doctor. Okay. Everybody else just does like fearful anime reacts. The whole time. Oh, 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 then let's quietly make our way yeah. that direction. Remember, okay. like you can hit in the pool. I don't need to know these things. <laughs> here are your choices. You die here like the scum you are. Choice B. In slavery it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we'll join the rest of your ilk. 27. 27. Oh, shit. Balls oh. <clears throat> oh, boy, guys. The box is full of loot? No, no, no. It's a crate, Liam. <laughs> crate is full of boxes? Yes, a crate full of boxes. Box crate, what our you best do with sponsor. The boxes? <laughs> no, you just inside the boxes are tinier boxes. Tinier boxes. When do you get to the loot, though? No, it's a Russian <laughs> nesting doll of Word boxes and crates. Box box, box box, and then inside is a box crate, and inside that is tiny bag crate. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> but Liam, yes. you want all those boxes? <laughs> I need boxes. Would the dragon notice if, if any of these of these bodies were disturbed? Many, yes. Never mind then. But small amounts. Why? You wish to take what they have, they mean nothing to us. One or two turned over will make no difference to the dragon. <sighs> Just pull that one down then. <coughs> Right. She points to it. The uh, some of the uh, ravenites come over Quiet, and quiet all of you. Haul one of the Make corpses no, off of the spike. No sound. It breaks off and snaps, and they bring it and throw it to the ground and step back. Thank you. <sighs> it is exactly what I expect. I would assume. The robes are familiar. All right. The scale color is familiar. I look it over. I check. What? They're locked in the moments of valiant defense of his city, frozen and lost. The remains of Tiberius Stormwind. Left a hero defending his people. Defaced by Vorogal, the frigid doom. Let's bring him inside at least. Yeah. Uh, 
I go and I, uh, I gather the remains. They are stiff and frozen, but light enough for you to carry. <sighs> Things vanish. I'm all right with making this vanish. That's as, enough, as much of a calling card as I feel we need to leave. Where should we bring him? His home doesn't really exist anymore. Hmm. His home was with us. Back to Imon. I have a thought. <sighs> to our keep? <sighs> it should have been. It was very important to him. It was. Uh, this is his place. We are not bringing him to us. We're leaving him here, but we're putting him somewhere appropriate. We take him away. Can you melt ice and snow? And we will lay him here. Put him with the books. Yeah, we slept on them. Have them back. Put him with the books. For now, anyway. And then when we free this place, we can find a proper tomb for What's him. Do for now. We take him back to where the frozen books lay. You find the remnants of the library? So you find a section of the stone rubble that's loose enough, you pull it open, and there beneath you can see there are hundreds and hundreds of books, many still pristine, but a little soggy from the melted snow. You gather probably a lot of time was spent in this library in his youth, and it's probably as good a place as any to leave his memory for the time. Are any of the Ravenites around us, or are we alone? They're keeping their distance, but they're watching. You get the sense that they understand what's going on, but they're not taking any offense to it. This will do. I start pulling books out. I start melting ice. Lockheed's still on my shoulder. Lockheed is still on your shoulder. Bring him down so he can say goodbye. As the ice melts and color comes to the body, you can see the, the tattered robes that show a fierce battle was fought. And regardless of this condition of finding him, knowing him as well as you did, he's still probably left a hero. As you lay him down on the books, mostly thought now Lockheed finds a moment of recognition and immediately flutters onto his chest and kind of curls up. You muse a bit, nibbles at the chin. I'm going to sit three or four feet um, away from him, facing him, and start privately thanking the Raven Queen for ushering him on. I'm going to take a, a chalice out of the bag of holding, and I begin to fill it with ale and then remember he, he preferred water. And I take the alchemy jug and I pour fresh water into the chalice and lay with him. I take and I rip off a piece of his robes, tuck it away. Can you seal it? As you guys step back, the nearby stone clatters to life. Take, I, I get Lockheed out of there. I don't want him to stay in. Lockheed, Do you want to come? Lockheed resists and resists and doesn't want to leave. Darling, Lockheed. I'm draconic, I say. It's all right. Lockheed kind of curls up onto his face and kind of just nibbles a bit on the forehead. He turns back and flutters up onto your shoulder. <laughs> the stonework. <laughs> Clatters closed over the top of the rubble of the library. Judith drops her knees and starts crying. 
effects. In this moment of sadness, there is a bit of warmth as you sense the remote as it is through the divine gate that uh, the Raven Queen's assurance that his spirit has made it to the other side. I'll put my hand on Kira's shoulder. He loved you well, princess. <sighs> you were so stupid. <laughs> Find Tuma, is she behind us? Should have never left our side. <laughs> Hopefully, this war will go on schedule. We'll eventually. But there's our promise, and that's the best you're going to get. We head to that, head out. We'll avenge you. I just turn around and say, goodbye, old friend. We'll come back and we'll fix this. Because this is poppycock. <laughs> As you gather yourselves up here amongst the ruins of Draconia, the last of the sky's light, the sun, has faded and the night has taken its form. You hear the distant caws of the evening birds as they begin to take the skies above the ravine. Tuma and the rest of the Ravenites give a nod as you join hands. Kira? Let's go home. Yes, let's. There's much to do. Back to Whitestone.